ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video for Monday morning, the 26th day of January. James Spann here, and boy, it's going to be a changeable week in terms of the weather. We'll have one pretty warm day and a couple of cold days, and uh, parts of North Alabama might see a little bit of wintry precipitation along the way. Let's go right to some of the Skycam shots this morning. Here's a look at uh, downtown Birmingham as seen from the top of the Daniel Building downtown looking north. We've got readings uh, hovering mostly in the uh, 40s around here, 30s up north. Hey, look at the fog down at Gulf Shores. Moist air from the ocean moving inland. And again, we will see some rain at times this week, no doubt about that. And the uh, Tuscaloosa sky cam looking out over the Hugh Thomas Bridge. That's the view from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. Interesting setup there. We've got this big trough out west sending little ripples of energy across the flow there, and the flow is somewhat zonal over the uh, eastern part of the country, and very cold air has gotten in here with a, uh, a stall front and very shallow cold air, and that's going to set the stage for some icing problems, as you'll see in a moment. But there's a look at the cold air, and uh, up north it's pretty brutal. Up on the Canadian border, temperatures are approaching 30 below zero. And we've got the uh, freeze line almost down to northwest Alabama. The really cold air is from uh, Interstate 40 north. That's Oklahoma City to Little Rock and uh, Nashville. And uh, we will not really be in that cold air through tomorrow. It's going to be Wednesday before that gets in here. And again, this morning, you can see Birmingham sitting at 45 with mid-30s up to the north from uh, Cullman up to the Shoals. Boy, what a mess. Winter storm watches, warnings, ice storm warnings. Up all the way from the Red River uh, through Oklahoma City, up into uh, northern Arkansas, southern Missouri, and uh, areas near the Ohio River, and then all the way over to New Jersey. And again, that's going to be a big mess. So if you're traveling north, be aware of that. Uh, uh, and of course, uh, winter storm watches out there in the Rockies where heavy mountain snow continues. Overall precipitation this week, the heaviest up there in that ice zone. And again, that's going to be an ugly setup, I'm afraid. Uh, heaviest over Kentucky with 3.2 inches of liquid. And this is valid through Friday evening. Down here, that's suggesting rain amounts of about one-half to uh, three-quarters of an inch. Well, let's look at this thing. This is the 06Z GFS at noon today. And again, that's problematic for somebody there with a trough out west, a stall front, shallow cold air. And uh, down below that, around here, we'll have just kind of a cloudy and cool day with highs in the 50s today. But you can clearly see the cold air entrenched to the north. And remember now that this model will not be able to show you the shallow cold air where the cold air is under, say, 5,000 feet. It just won't reflect that. Uh, tomorrow, the front pushes north as a warm front. That front should be on the Alabama-Tennessee border. And uh, understand, it's going to be a pretty mild day. We might even approach 70 here tomorrow. And uh, I guess there might be a shower, but it looks like much of the day will be dry, just warm and breezy, while our neighbors to the north are dealing with ice. Again, from uh, Little Rock up to uh, uh, Kentucky, uh, Louisville, Lexington, maybe down into Tennessee, in the northern part of Tennessee. And then on Wednesday, the boundary pushes south again. And uh, again, understand with the depth of the cold air up there, you see those thickness values and think, well, it's just going to rain. But uh, there, there could be a little window during the day Wednesday, and I think temperatures will be falling Wednesday. We could see the high reached at 6 o'clock in the morning where we could see a few snowflakes mixing in with the rain uh, Wednesday evening. So just be aware that doesn't look like a big issue, but it's not out of the question. Uh, maybe a few more issues north of here up uh, toward the Tennessee border, and we'll focus on that as we go along this week. But all of that mess should be ending uh, Wednesday night. And then Thursday, uh, pretty cold look there for the eastern half of the country, western ridge, eastern trough. Uh, Thursday looks like a dry day with good cold air advection. Uh, highs probably in the 40s, and on Friday it gets even colder here. That would suggest highs in the 30s. Maybe a few snow flurries north of here up through parts of eastern Tennessee in points north. And Saturday, starting off the weekend, that's going to be a cold morning. Uh, it'll be a hard freeze, and uh, temperatures during the day Saturday should be approaching 50 for the high. But again, we'll probably be down there around 20, maybe teens to start the day. 
And then Sunday, here comes our next feature uh, with a chance of rain off to the west Monday of next week. Good-looking trough sharpens up again. That rain is on by, and more cold air blows in here. So there could be some rain as we wrap up the upcoming weekend. And quickly, at the end of the forecast on the 10th of February, eh, you know, we're just looking out here. The model is struggling, no doubt about that. Shows some type of deep upper-level feature there, but again, uh, we're just looking for trends and uh, at 16 days out, we have not seen any well-defined trends for sure because every run looks different. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.